Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And this morning, we're all the chilled spot, but at least we've got a nice view to go along with it, especially for Cynthia and Floyd. This shot right here yesterday morning, that sunrise was something else, especially over the snow. You see that little bit of a pink orange hue reflecting off the snow. Beautiful shot for today's picture of the day, but it is very cold out there. Blacksburg, you're at 26 degrees. Lexington at 28. Roanoke and Covington at 30. Withville and Lewisburg, 22. Again, factor in the wind, though, and it feels colder than that. Not going be as windy as yesterday though as high pressure gets closer to us the pressure difference is going to decrease that means the wind decreases as well so one thing to keep in mind though is that we've got increased sunshine and snow it's white color reflects 90 percent of the light that you see so make sure that you remember the sunglasses before you head out the door this morning more sunshine but uh, still more chill we're in the upper 30s and lower 40s this afternoon overnight temperatures fall into the low to mid 20s so once again refreezing a possibility on those spots that don't get treated over the course of the day today and then by tomorrow we're about 45 to 50 degrees with rain developing especially as we head into the night here's 5 p.m. tomorrow we're mostly dry then as we head into the nighttime hours you see rain moving in our cold front to the east, but moisture overrunning some cold air by Thursday. That could actually turn to a light snow accumulation as of right now looks to be along into the east of the parkway, but that too is a game of miles. So we'll keep an eye on that heading through Thursday afternoon and evening by Thursday night. We turn dry, but where that front goes is absolutely essential to the forecast late Friday into Saturday. Now, if it were to completely blow by us and go to the east, then a storm would miss us. We'd just be very cold and dry. However, this scenario right here is the one that usually works out in a case like this, that you have the front stall to the east. You get a new storm that rides along it into our cold air and produces at least the potential for some more wintry weather and snow accumulations heading into Friday night and Saturday morning. So for the New River Valley, middle topper 40s tomorrow, middle topper 30s Thursday, though your temperature is probably dropping throughout the day Thursday. It's Friday night into Saturday that we've really got to watch for you. Look at Friday. Temperatures only in the 20s with the chance for snow at night heading into Saturday morning. After that, we turn dry, but still very cold, low to mid 30s and temperatures at night in the teens. For the Roanoke Valley today, upper 30s and lower 40s. Tomorrow, not quite as cold. Again, you see increasing clouds. Best chance of rain coming in tomorrow night and the possibility of an afternoon mix as you head into Thursday. But the better chance as of right now looks to be late Friday and into Saturday morning. Friday afternoon temperatures topping out in the 20s will be about 35 to 40 then by Sunday and Monday, but still your morning temperatures about 15 to 20 degrees in the valley. Time now 550 Tuesday morning.